how how's your take on on the importance of the Seven Eleven team for us as American cycling fans? You know, it's interesting. I think when most people are armchair spectators these days, when they think of American cycling, they think of Lance Armstrong, and I think. You know, what a lot of people don't realize is Lance Armstrong is obviously a, a fantastic athlete and a gifted uh, athlete, but there were people who laid the foundation for what he was to accomplish. And I think Lance certainly would have accomplished what he did, no matter what, because of his physiological makeup, but I think he probably wouldn't have accomplished it as soon had 7-Eleven the first all-American team to make that incursion into Europe, had they not laid the foundation for Lance and sort of laid the cultural groundwork for what he was to accomplish. And in point of fact, the 7-Eleven team structure and the 7-Eleven director, Jim Malkowitz, that morphed into the Motorola team on which Lance was to turn pro immediately following the Atlanta, Atlanta Olympic Games. So, um, you know, both literally and figuratively, I think the 7-Eleven team laid the foundation for what was to come in American cycling. And it was a tremendously exciting time. I mean, as you know, you say that you grew up watching that team. And, um, you know, I was a journalist during that time. I was also a fan, unabashed fan during that time. And it was just amazing to watch what these guys did sort of against all odds when they went to Europe. I mean, they were derided. They were laughed at. They were blamed for crashes. Um, and yet they persevered amidst some spectacular failures. Um, they had some spectacular successes.